Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are joining this channel for the first time, my name is Zanele. And for those of you that have continued to follow and subscribe and watch all my videos, thank you so much for being so loyal. Thank you for all the engagement that you continue to drive and have, even outside of YouTube. I mean, there are many of you guys that I'm connecting with via LinkedIn, on emails. Some of you guys have even reached out on WhatsApp. And I've even managed to meet some of you guys one-on-one, -on -one, which is absolutely fantastic. The feedback that I continue to get is don't stop posting your videos because they're so helpful, they're very clear, and it's always encouraging to get that feedback from you guys, knowing that what I look to put out there is helping someone somewhere out there. So what I've decided to do is continue to put the content out there. Some questions continue to come up that, you know, whether it's members who've just completed their studies or those who are just starting to think about the next steps in their career within their journey, uh, those working in manufacturing and in factories, or those that have just qualified as engineers now looking ahead to see whether they're on the right career trajectory in the career path. So I really wanted to come back and take it back to basics because a lot of the questions that do come up are things that, you know, individuals are not, are not privy to, to the access or privy to the information. Individuals are struggling to find the right answers, not having the right support systems and structures. And ultimately, this was the goal and the aim of, of my channel, why I started it. How to share information, make sure there's access to this information for anyone and everyone who's looking to progress in their journeys and in their careers. We've spoken a lot about engineers, engineering, technicians, artisans, the GCC, process engineering, maintenance, so on and so forth. I'll continue to put that content out there because there is... A surplus of opportunities for engineers there is a need for strong technical capability and aptitude within engineers and also us having the right know-how and skills so that we can be effective in our roles either as specialists or as people leading teams especially for safety over and above this I'm passionate about leadership and development and really looking to see how we can start engaging not only within the STEM fields, but also outside of that and how we can influence teams and structures and organizations in a positive way. So do look out for, for additional content that I will be posting. Look out for some online webinars and some workshops and, and also just creating a space for like-minded people to get together and share ideas and how we can really maximize and elevate this platform. So what I wanted to chat about today, which you may have missed in previous videos, is why an individual would want to pursue a GCC. It's the Government Certificate of Competency, which is accredited by the Department of Labor or the Department of Mineral Resources for mining individuals and mining engineers. The reason I want to chat about this is because graduates who are still either studying in their undergrad or someone who's still completing their ends, wanting to jump straight into getting a GCC and Government Certificate of Competency, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But the truth of the matter is it's so important for that individual, for us as, as uh, engineers, technicians, artisans, to complete our studies and qualifications, gain the necessary experience, because a lot of knowledge and learning and insight comes through experience before jumping into getting the certification and the accreditation with the government. So a person would look to getting a GCC or Government Certificate of Competency if they feel that they are ready to be appointed as a GMR and to be classified as a competent person as stipulated in the OSH Act and regulations. The requirement for appointed competent person actually comes from the GMR regulation, the General Machinery Regulation, where depending on the size, the magnitude, uh, the energy generated by a particular facility requires that someone has a certain level of skill, competency, experience to be responsible, rather accountable, for the safety of equipment and machines and ultimately the safety of people on site. If an individual is not looking to work in factories, say they want to pursue a career in projects or project management, or they're pursuing a career outside of manufacturing and it can be in any other sector, um, still looking to apply problem-solving skills, there wouldn't really be a need 
or a mandate or a requirement for that particular individual to pursue a GCC. I mean, someone who's driven and ambitious and wanting to tick that box and have that certification just in case has been open and capable to pursue the qualification if you've got the right prior experience to be allowed entry into the examination. However, the need for that certification and for the government to say, yes, this is a competent engineer, is ultimately so that you could be appointed within that manufacturing facility or within that mine uh, as a competent individual to look after the facility and the people. GCC is currently only for mechanical and electrical engineering fields. So individuals that have studied chemical, civil engineering, industrial engineering, those individuals are more suited to other qualifications and accreditations. So example, individuals looking to be leaders in project management or design or in other functions within engineering, they can pursue accreditation and certification with EXA, the Engineering Council of South Africa. So when looking to apply for your GCC and really having a toss up between that and a PR eng, um, it is important to look at in the long term, where are you seeing yourself in your career? Where are you currently at? Is there a requirement for you and your space? Are you a maintenance or engineering manager that's requiring to have that qualification and hence why you're pursuing it? Or is it a case of you still haven't decided whether you want to be in manufacturing, working in operations, working with maintenance, whether you're working with design, auditing, FMEA, and so on and so forth. Even outside of STEM fields, if you're looking to pursue careers outside of that, even in the financial sector, may not be necessary for you to pursue a GCC. I'm all for progressing one's career knowledge, obtaining and gaining the qualifications necessary to move up to the next levels or to expand one's knowledge. I think what's important is for us to gain a level of clarity in what we're looking to achieve in our careers. Look out for additional content that I'll be putting out here on this platform, even on others. Follow me even on LinkedIn where we spread positivity and continue to comment and tell me what you want to see more of. Share this video with anyone that you feel might find it useful and I look forward to continued conversations and let's see how we can have a positive impact not only to the person next to us but also those who are passionate about progressing within their own space having a positive impact on their organizations, their teams and communities at large. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Ciao.